Converse Judson has a four point lead over the Lee Rebels of Midland. And the wishbone attack getting set to go in operation 78 yards away with 736 to go in the ball game. Garnett the fullback for four. Good hit by the middle of that defensive group. David Molesky was there along with Dennis Kennedy. Coach, you had an interesting point during the conversation. This is really a test of that wishbone, right? Well, it's, it's a test for a running team. You look up and the clock says 7, 18, 16, 15, 14. The, the, the clock is ticking away on you. And uh, if you try this ground attack ball control, you, you, you wind up killing yourself. Option play. Big hole, good block down at the 30. Dennis Kennedy fought off the block and made the tackle at the 30-yard line. The clock will continue to run. That'll bring up a third and about two and a half. Motley carried the ball. Dennis Kennedy, 152-pound linebacker, did make a good play right here. It's a counter option. They fake the trap to Garnett, the fullback, up the middle. And uh, it's an option play with Motley running the football. Third down, two. fullback see where they spot it now they get a little farther than I thought he may uh, they may want to bring the chain out they will go for it if they didn't make it you know I, I feel that coach Dykes probably told his quarterback before he went out he said now remember you're operating with four downs we're not going to punt the ball I'm just guessing but I wouldn't be at all surprised if he doesn't have those instructions that you're operating with four down. Look at that. They made it by about an inch and a half. Now, as soon as the chain has been spotted, as you look at Frank Arnold prowling the sideline on the far side. If I had practiced the deep pass and off of a couple of fakes off of that wishbone and was going to throw it, you to use it on this series. Left side, Walter Jones for two. Mark Milligan, number 54, made the tackle this time. He had a fumble recovery back in the first quarter that led to the first Judson touchdown of the game. And the clock continues to roll, 5-5-0 five, five, and counting. The halfback counter has been a very successful play until just then, and uh, they, they stopped it virtually no game. Second down, eight. Garnett, the fullback. It'll be third and five at the 37-yard line. Bobby Acosta, the nose guard, number 63, made the tackle. Clock shows 525 and running. Garnett has now carried 20 times for 51 yards. Third and five, state championship, class 5A, on the line with 5.10 to go. Fullback, this time it's going to be fourth down. And I think the options are limited, they've got to go for it. Don't you think? Oh, certainly. No, they're not going to kick the football. These kids started back in August. It is the dream of every high school football player I've ever seen to play for a state championship squad, and it's fourth and one at the 42. Flag is down on the far side of the field. He might not have made it either. I don't think he did make it. Midland. Now this will be tight here. They must have had to take that penalty. I think they blew the whistle before the ball was right. snapped. Did they? Must yes. have. Yes, I think they did. That is true because he signaled dead ball foul. That's right. Well, this is a tester here now to go for fourth and six. Now what? It really is. 
you got to consider a, a kick there and hope to hope to hold them and get the ball back again. 4:27 to go. They're going to talk about it. Timeout has been called with 4:27 to go in the ball game. It's fourth down and six, and the Rockets lead the Rebels 25 to 20. 